Many of us carry antibiotic resistant bacteria in our guts. And if those bacteria cause infections like urinary tract infections or pneumonia, then they are going to be very difficult to treat. The resistance genes in those bacteria are often carried by genetic elements called plasmids. And we found a way of getting rid of those plasmids and the resistance genes that they carry. My name is Chris Thomas. The university, I work at the University of Birmingham and I'm an expert on plasmids. I've been working on them since my PhD in the 1970s. Um, and then I went to the University of California before coming to Birmingham in 1980. And so I've, I've been working on these for many, many years. And it's a great thrill to me to be able to apply what we've learned against a real problem associated with these little genetic elements. So we've the paper that we're publishing describes what we've done to get rid of resistance genes on bacterial plasmids. What we do is we add parts of the plasmids we want to get rid of into what we call a vector plasmid, a good plasmid that can spread between bacteria. And we take the genes that we know will block the replication of the resistance plasmid and neutralize its stable inheritance mechanisms uh, so that when our good plasmid spreads into a bug, transfers into a bug carrying the resistance plasmid, that plasmid will stop replicating and as the bacteria multiply, the resistance genes will get displaced and disappear. We've tested that in the, uh, the laboratory and in bacterial populations in the lab. We can show we don't have to pro provide any selective pressure. We just mix our um, curing plasmid with the target bacteria and the resistance disappears within two or three days. Um, we've collaborated with uh, colleagues um, at the University of Sydney to test uh, the system in mice and although we need to um, prime the system a little bit with selective antibiotics we actually can show that the plasmid is effective our curing strategy is effective in mice and at the end of um, about three days you end up with mice that have totally lost the resistance genes that they were carrying and so an infection would be treatable our delivery mechanism um, for this uh, new curing plasmid is um, a safe strain of E. coli that would actually be uh, delivered as a drink, like a Yakult that would be taken as a tablet or a little um, suspension uh, that would get into the gut. Our good plasmids would spread into the gut bacteria and cause um, the resistance to disappear. And then we've, uh, we're developing uh, self-destruct mechanisms that mean that we can then get rid of our curing plasmid once it's done its job um, and it's re you know, got rid of the resistance genes. So we're now collaborating with people at the University Hospital, um, the QE Hospital in Birmingham, to work towards a clinical trial in which we could actually um, see how well this actually works in um, human beings. Uh, first of all, does the plasmid spread fast enough in the gut um, and does it reach all the bacteria that carry the resistance genes? And if it does, then this would be um, potentially a, a very, very useful strategy to use in combination with other ways of controlling antimicrobial resistance. Um, so I'm hoping that in a few years time, this will be something that doctors will be able to use to, um, in a clinical context. So thank you for listening.